I'm going to start by entering in the record a letter opposing President Biden's LNG export ban signed by 152 Republican members of Congress. There's bipartisan outrage over President Biden's election year stunt. The president received a similar letter from House Democrats by our colleagues on this committee, and I commend them for that. As our letter states, this decision is economically and strategically dangerous and unnecessary. Under both Democrat and Republican administration, the DOE has consistently found that U.S. LNG exports serve the public interest because they contribute positive economic benefits and strengthen energy security for the American people. And they also have the potential to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. This latest move to ban exports is part of a broader campaign to undercut American energy production. Following the announcement, Sierra Club Executive Director stated, the Biden administration is listening to the calls to break America's reliance on dirty fossil fuels. Another example of this is the campaign by radical environmentalists to block pipelines. This especially hurts states like South Carolina, where I re represent. Our population growth is outpacing, outpacing our energy supply. We need to expand our infrastructure to deliver affordable natural gas from the Marcellus or from Louisiana and Texas. Both the Atlantic Coast and Mount Valley pipelines face these challenges, which ultimately ended up in the cancellation of the ACP.